hello welcome to my youtube channel all right so if you are seeking for you know a channel where you can learn mathematical concepts in very basic simple steps uh, you would have to stick around this channel we would always bring you videos and lessons on topics of mathematics and you can also check our playlist for other video lessons that we have okay so in this lesson we want to see operations involving uh, algebraic fractions now that's what we have been dealing with so we've seen how to simplify algebraic fractions and uh, here now it is also about simplification but in this case now involving some operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division okay so including brackets and all of that so we are going to be looking at this with examples all right so let's begin with the first one here we are asked to simplify the following okay so we have a, a 2 over x minus 3x so we are to simplify this is this an algebraic fraction yes okay recall that an algebraic fraction is a fraction that contains variables either in the numerator or the denominator or both of a given fraction right so now whenever you have um, an operation addition or subtraction of two algebraic uh, fractions the basic thing you must do is to take the lcm of their denominators depending on the number of fractions you have so here we have two fractions and so you are going to make this one look like a fraction so you look for the lcm of the two of them if it is simplification uh, when by the time we get to equations in that case either you take lcm or you multiply through by the lcm so here you just take lcm the lcm of x and one is x and why is it x because x is the number or the smallest number that the two of them can divide all right so let's go x into x is one times two is two minus one into x is x times 3 is uh, sorry times 3x is 3x squared okay so and by this you have simplified and what does it mean to simplify this kind of fractions is to bring them together as one you have two fractions subtracting themselves so you know bringing them together into one fraction means a simplification instead of having two all right and so this is a good place to stop all right so example two so basically, like I said, LCM of the denominators is the basic rule for simplifying this kind of fractions, right? So I'll look for the LCM of uh, 21 and 14, and um, which is going to be what? That would be 42. So of course, I know you recall how to take LCM, all right? So 14 dividing 42 is going to, be, is going to give us what? 3. All right, so you get three three times uh, 21 x is going to be 63 x minus 21 into 42 is 2 and then 2 times 5 x will give us 10 x okay so is it possible to simplify anything yes you can subtract this because they are like terms and so 63 x minus uh, 10 x will give us 53 x uh, all over 42. Nothing else can divide, and so that becomes our solution. Right? Example 3. Okay, so how do you do this? Very simple as well. Okay, so here you also take LCM. So what's the LCM of x squared and 2x? Now, maybe we should just do one. Okay, of course, uh, this one is just a basic thing that we know but with or without this you should be able to get the lcm but the first thing to do is to multiply the, the two of them and if you multiply and then you can reduce uh, to a, a lower lc a lower common multiple then you use that one but let's use this approach if you do this x can go into the two of them so you have x and two um nothing else is common so you divide by x since it is lcm if it is HCF, then we stop here. But since it's LCM, you still divide it. Then this will be 1, 2. 2 times 2 goes 1, 1. So you keep dividing until you get 1, 1. 
And so that will give us x times x times 2, which is 2x squared, right? Okay, so um, we will now bring down that here. So you have 2x squared, right? x squared into 2x squared will give us 2. So that 2 will multiply this. Remember what we said initially, because this is a binomial, so you open a bracket because the 2 will multiply two of them. So you have x plus 3, bring down your sign. 2x divide 2x squared will give us x. So you also open a bracket, x plus 5. So by the time you simplify your numerator, you will have 2x, that's 2 times this, plus 6. This one will give us x squared. This one will give us 5x. And it's all over 2x squared. Okay, so from there we now collect like terms. Let x squared come first. So we have x squared and then 2x plus 5x is 7x. And then you have plus 6 all over 2x squared. There is nothing else to simplify. So we stop there. All right, example 4. He says we should simplify 5 over x minus y minus 4 over y, uh, y minus x. So the bracket is telling us that this is a YX question. Okay, YX is West African Examination Council. We take it in a, as our school uh, final year exam here in Nigeria. All right, so uh, what do you do? LCM also. So in this case, since these are two binomials, there's no point, uh, you know, trying to bother yourself. Just use the product as your LCM. So the product of the two of them. And so if five um, x minus y divide, so you have only this. So this one will multiply five. So you have five times y minus x minus. Now you bring down this, then y minus x divide the denominator here. You will have x minus y times four. So four will multiply x minus y. And uh, immediately you have done that. You now try to simplify what you have. Okay, so if we open up the bracket here, we'll have 5y minus 5x minus 4x. I'm talking about here now. The minus 4 times this will give us 4y plus 4y. And that is over. There's no need opening that other bracket, right? So we will now go ahead to see if there are um like terms to collect of course we have okay so um if we take our y our y, our y looks positive so if we do 5y plus 4y that will give us 9y and then minus 5x minus 4x is going to give us what minus 9x and that is over and now we are going to see something beautiful you can see that there is 9 here and there is 9. And this is why we had to learn factorization. So you bring out factorize, uh, the common factor. So here is 9 into here will be left with y minus x. Uh, are we together? Okay. So and that is all over x minus y into y minus x. Now you see why it was beautiful that you didn't even have to open this bracket. Because now you can see that what you have up here can actually cancel out something down here. And so your final answer is 9 all over x minus y. And that is the solution for that problem. Right? So when it comes to simplifying algebraic fractions that uh, contains addition, subtraction, LCM is very important. And for LCM, I said, if it is numbers, it's easy to do it with this. If it is a number and alphabet, you can multiply and reduce to the lowest. And if you cannot do that, you can quickly use your table uh, to get your LCM as fast as possible. Okay, so let's look at the next example. So this is the combination of division and addition. And so what are you expected to do? So you just know that this is the same thing as 1 over since the denominator has a sum of fractions, we first of all simplify that one. So we we'll bring it down here. And so I'll have this LCM is XY. That's multiplying these two. 
x dividing x y will give us y y times one is y plus y dividing x y will give us x x times this is x so we have um, y plus x all over x y as the denominator so we can write that here y plus x over x y and what can you do okay so here are some important facts to note when simplifying um, algebraic fractions involving divisions so first of all if i have a over b over c you are dividing something by a fraction this is the same thing as bring up the denominator of the fraction below to multiply the numerator so this will be ac over b number two if the fraction is up so i have something like uh, a over b all over c so this is the same thing as bring down the denominator of that numerator to multiply the, the general denominator so this will give us a over bc simple and then the third one i would like you to see is what if you just have one over a fraction so one over something is also called reciprocal or inverse very multiplicative inverse actually so once you have one over a fraction it means taking that fraction upside down so this is the same thing as b over a and of course you can see where that is coming from all of these things i've done and they are just coming from division sign so for instance i have one over a over b this is the same thing as one divided by a over b and we are told that if i have a division sign i can change it to multiplication the only thing is that the fraction following will now turn upside down. So this will become b over a. And that's what will give you this. 1 times this will still give you value. If you do the same thing I did for these two, you will get the same thing. All right. Now, following this last principle here, so this is going to be equal to xy all over x, sorry, all over y plus x. And that is your solution. All right, so let's look at the next example. So what do we do with this? Simplify 3 over x plus 4 over x plus 1, all over 2 over x plus 1 minus 3 over x. The same thing I said here. We first of all try to simplify your numerator. Since your numerator is a fraction, simplify your denominator, then combine the two. Okay, so let's try to do it somewhere here. So I'm going to have um, 3 over x plus the LCM, just multiply the denominators. So you have x times x plus 1. And so this divide this is x plus 1. So I'll have 3 into x plus 1 and bring down my plus. You can also bring down the 4 if you want. Open a bracket and x plus 1 divide this will give you x. So you just have x here. Right? So this is going to give us. So if I open the brackets here, this will be 3x plus uh, 3, then this one is 4x, all over, here is x into x plus 1. And um, with that, um, I can simplify the numerator further, which will give me 7x, that's 3x plus 4x, 7x plus 3 all over x into x plus 1. So that is my numerator. So I can actually bring it here. 7x plus 3 all over x into x plus 1. Now see what I'm going to do now. This division sign here, I'm going to write it as this other sign. Of course, they are the same. So I'm dividing this numerator now by this one. And I'm going to get the value of this one now. Okay, so let's try to get simplified the other one, which is 2 over x plus 1 minus 3 over x. Okay, so what are we going to have? So this is going to be LCM is also x into x plus 1. Okay, so the LCM, if this divides, you get x. x times 2 is 2x minus x dividing this one will give us x plus uh, 1. 
So 3 will multiply x plus 1. And so that is going to give us 2x. If we open this bracket, we'll have minus 3x minus 3 all over x into x plus 1. All right. So at that point, we will now try to simplify the numerator further, which will give us this minus this will be minus x minus 3 all over x into x plus 1. So that is a value for the denominator here. So I'm going to bring it here. So I'm going to have minus x minus 3 all over x into x plus 1. And you're going to see something that's beautiful also here. And what is that? I'm going to change this division sign to multiplication. So this will give me 7x plus 3 all over x into x plus 1 and uh, multiplied by... So by the time I change this to multiplication, this guy will invert. So I'm going to have minus 3. And immediately, this will cancel this. And when that happens, my solution will now be 7x plus 3. Now remember, this is 1, 1. So this multiply 1 will give us the same. All over 1 multiply this will also give us the same. So we just have into this. And this is the solution to this. Okay. So meanwhile, when there is a fraction like this, of this nature, uh, even this one, there is another approach to it, which I want you to see. How else you can do it? Once it's a division, now which also applies to equations. So and what is that? Get the LCM of whichever side that has a fraction. And whatever is the LCM, use it to multiply up and down. You know, in maths, when you multiply up and down, you have not changed anything because they can still cancel out. So, and the same thing will apply here. The reason is because the LCM here for the numerator and denominator are equal. But if their LCMs are not the same, please don't do that. So, but here you just have only one fraction, so you can do it. So quickly, let's do it and see if we get the same thing. So here we got the LCM to be XY. So I'm going to use XY to multiply the numerator. So here I have, that's for number five. I have one over one over X plus one over y. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by x plus y, and that will give me x plus y over. So I will multiply the denominator also by x plus y. Now, why am I doing this? Is because I want to clear the fractions in that denominator. Okay, the same thing will happen here. If you multiply the numerator and denominator by their LCMs, it will clear each of these fractions here. And so if I do that here, if you open that bracket, you have x, y all over. x, y multiply this. You know when you have x, y times 1 over x, x will cancel x. So 1 times, uh, sorry, y times 1 will just give us y. And that is plus, if you do the same thing for 1 over y, let me do it here. So I have x, y times 1 over y. That's for this one. So y will cancel y, x times 1 will give me x. And immediately you will get the same answer we got here without troubles, right? So that's uh, that other method, all right? So here is the exercise. I called it number one, and then this one is number two. Do this using this approach. And let me see in the comment section whether you got the same answer we got here. Or, okay, I've removed it, or a different answer. All right, so here is where we'll end it for this lesson. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Do give thumbs up to our videos. We'll see you in our next.